So some examples of uh, working with fractions. Um, so for example, we might want to do uh, 3 sevenths times 4. And what we're going to realise here is this means we're doing 3 sevenths plus 3 sevenths plus 3 sevenths plus 3 sevenths. And when we're adding fractions, we've got a common denominator, so our answer will be in sevenths. Uh, we've got 3, 6, 9, 12, so we've got 12 sevenths, and then always with uh, improper fractions where the numerator is bigger than the denominator, we have to cancel down to mixed number. How many sevenths go to 12? Well, 1, 12 take away 7 is 5, so there's 5 sevenths left over. Uh, we're dealing with sevenths, so our answer will be in sevenths. Um, quick way of doing this though is rather than write out um, the number of sevenths uh, we're adding together and so forth is we can think of this as three sevenths times four over one. Four is four whole ones and when we multiply in fractions then we've got three times four and we've got seven times one. So multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators and we end up with 12 over 7 again which again we always cancel down to a mixed number if it's improper fraction. We've also got to consider what happens when we do sums with division. So if we've got something like 4 ninths divided by 5. Now this is not so easy. Uh, what we need is a common denominator that is a multiple of 5. Um, that's one way of thinking of this sum. So common multiple of uh, 9 that has 5 involved is 45. So I could make this into 40 fifths. So to turn the 9 into 45, I had to times by 5. So I do the same to the numerator, times by 5. So we end up with 20 40 fifths. So now I've got 20 40 fifths divided by 5. Well, 20 divided by 5 is 4. And I don't need to divide the denominator because I'm just saying there's 20 40 fifths and I'm sharing it into 5 piles. So there'll be 4 40 fifths in both. Uh, Another way of thinking of division with fractions is, again, whole ones can always be considered to be a fraction as 5 over 1. And when we're dividing fractions, we turn it into multiplication by taking the reciprocal of the second fraction, which means we basically flip the fraction over to become 1 fifth. Multiply again, multiply the numerators, 4 times 1, 9 times 5. So we've got 4 over 45. The main thing to remember when we're dividing by fractions is that we need something on the bottom, the denominator, that is a multiple of 5 to make this sum easy. And the quickest way of doing that is to multiply the 5 by the 9 to make 40 fifths. And in doing that, I've had to multiply the top by 5 as well. And then we share it through. So we end up with 4 40 fifths. Little pattern. Notice the numerator here stayed the same and the denominator just multiplied by the 5 to give me the 45. So there are patterns with this as well. So a couple more examples. So if I'm doing 5 eighths times um, 6, then I can think of that as 5 times 6 over 8 which gives me 30 over 8. I'm only multiplying the uh, numerator because remember it's like thinking this is 6 over 1. So 5 times 6, 8 times 1. So 30 over 8, it cancels down to, well, 8 and 30 is 3 8 to 24. So it's going to be 3 whole ones and 3 8 to 24. Take that away from 30, leaves us with 6, so 6 8. But then we realise that 6 and 8 both uh, have a factor of 2. So we end up with dividing that by 2, 3, dividing that by 2, 4. So the final answer will be 3 and 3 quarters. A division 1. So say we've got to do um, 7 tenths divided by 3. Then we can think of this as 7 tenths divided by 3 over 1, which is the same as saying 7 tenths times 1 over 3. <coughs> Excuse me. So we end up with 7 over 30. 7 times 1 is 7, 10 times 3 is 30. So that's some examples of dividing and multiplying by integers, um, fractions by integers.